Okay, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be changing my tires. Now, great way to save some money. However, it's an absolute prick of a job. So, here we go. Let's get into it. Let's have a look at what you're going to need. You will need a bead breaker. Which also doubles as a stand for your tires. Uh, tire levers. Most kits come with two. You'll probably want three, though. Uh, a valve tool. So you pull the valves and rim protectors. Again, most kits come with two. You'll want, I generally recommend having three. So let the swearing begin. French Bulldogs are optional. <laughs> and we think this one will be a one beer job. And there'll be a bit of swearing and cursing. Right. Okay. So. Place your tire on the. Sorry, I'm gonna start this again. Place your tire on the bead breaker. Pull the valve. Remove said valve. Yeah. <sighs> this gets loud. Make sure you don't lose the. <laughs> don't lose the valve. Yeah, don't lose the actual bit that comes out. Cause there is a bit of air pressure behind and we've seen these go flying before mm. yeah what's that mate watch out fat toe get it away come on come on move i don't want you getting hurt by this your mum will kill me <laughs> one, where's the valve uh it dropped should i drop it yeah you see where it dropped yeah thunder well, let's get that. Yeah. Did it? I didn't even, I didn't even see it come out. I saw it freaking roll down here. Awesome. Yeah. There it is. There you go, right by your foot. There, 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 there. I'm going to go. There you go. Yep. There we go. Great. A couple, couple of experts at play. Yep. All right. Break, go. break the bead. Break the bead. Yeah. I'll hold yeah. that. You break the bead. It's your wheel. Yeah. French Bulldogs are optional. No, right, Leonard? Hey, what you doing? There you go. There you go. Breaking the bead. Look, there you go. The beads now off. Now just push it off everywhere else. There you go. Now flip it. Now there's the valve. Be very careful of that because it's going to go down. It will hit the with these right angle valves. It they do hit the thing. So you just want to make sure you don't put any oh. pressure on that. God. And your dog threw up. Look at that. Nice. I'll tell you what. You keep doing that. Okay. I'll get that cleaned up. Yeah. Okay. Second side. Oop. Be careful around the valve again. I don't want to destroy that. That one has been hit before. The valve? Yeah. In there, definitely. <laughs> Okay, now the fun bit. So flip it back so the valve's not pointing down. Watch out, they do tend to pop back on the rim, they want to be there. Which is good for the final bit. Pain while you're doing everything. Get your tire levers. Three tire levers, set them up. One. Just turned off. Yeah. Yeah, set your tie levers up. One, yeah. two, three. Now, make sure this back end's not on the bead. Pull the first couple. Pull the third. Okay, make sure that they actually pop over the rim. Take out the center one. Go in. Take out. Take out the center one, go to the end. There we go, once you got about this much, you can pull that out, no problems. Make sure the rim protectors stay on. Do 
what you've done there? Yeah. Yep. So it's on top of the room still? Yep. Now we're going to do the same thing again. Put one in. Two. Second side's always a bit easier. One tire off. So, in the bin. Here's the new tire. Now, my front tire turns that way. ABS rings on the left, eh? Yep. 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 So it goes that way. So the direction so now arrow on needs the, to go. That, that's the directional arrow. It goes, there you go, right yeah. there. Yep, that's correct. So yeah. this is going to go down. That's right. Actually, you got a directional arrow on this on these there tires as well. So, arrow right there. There we so go. So that's the right way around. Now, this is the weighted part of the tire. So they check the balance of these tires when they come out of the mold, and they put a mark there to say that's the heavy side. So what we do is we offset that to the valve. So there's valve. Put that there. That's the way we want it to go on, like that. Some might ask why you're not using soap, Asher. Why aren't you using soap? I am about to use soap. Okay. So, get this on. We're going to put a little bit of soap around the bead. Number one rule for this is there is always time for lube. So, a bit of detergent mixed water. And I've just got a sponge to apply it. Just need a little bit. Check it on the back. Just around the lip. Don't need too much. There's my dot. There's the valve. It's on. Room protectors are on. And sort of starting from the Inside and going out, we're going to start from the outside and go in. Because this is the bit where having a mate helps. What do you want me to do? You're going to have to grab one of these in a sec. Well, that's right. So. This is where the swearing and cussing part comes in. I'll hold yeah. that. Yeah, you hold that. Side. <clears throat> Good old Dunlop's tight, uh, stiff as, so this is not the easiest job. Pirelli's will be much easier. I think Bridgestones are about as hard as these. There we go. Yeah. One side done. It's actually, they actually went on easier than I thought it was going to go on, to be honest with you. Yeah. This is the US Dunlop 2, so. These pots potentially have a slightly softer carcass. I don't know, I'm, I'm no, guessing. I, I think these are harder I don't than, know. The, than the usual UK yeah. or I think they're French sauce. Well, the, yeah, the the, the, the N Tech, yeah. whatever they call it, the KR109 and 108 that we normally use. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Just just for argument's sake, we're using this. This is a 448 front that's been laying around the shed. It's brand new, it's never used, it's been, it's been kept properly, it's been stored in the dark. So, um, had no heat cycles, of course. That's a few years old, but a lot of times you buy tyres in Australia, particularly, they are always old. So, yeah. um, but this tyre of uh, discovered I had laying around and we thought, well, use it, let's use it. I've got some coaching to do, so I'm not getting. Not, save, not smoking a, save, save smoking a. Save smoking a. I was saying this isn't a high end tyre, but it saves smoking a, a tyre that you Damn do a race meeting on. This is weird. This is weird. in the right spot. Is no. it falling in? So yeah, one of them's one of them doesn't have the uh, thing attached anymore. The rope attached to so it. So I have to be very careful with it. Get that stand. That's fucking dodgy, man. Oh no. <laughs> I've on. got another one on order because of it. I would hope so. Yeah. But it's not here yet. If that falls in again, you're on your own, man. 
probably going to get in it. No, I've no. got it. Good. Where's the other lever? I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll hold that lever once you fold it over. Yeah, yeah actually, can you fold that one? Yeah, I'll do the rest. Haven't sworn much. No, no. Dog spew. Yeah. And you're leaning, you're kneeling in where it was. Yeah. Just saying, I did clean it up though. He's a good yeah, boy. Pull that one back. Pull. Yeah. There we go. Is this far enough around? Oh, probably not. Okay. I think it so, is. This is what I've done. Oh, there you go. Just watch that doesn't slip on and no, it's gonna scratch slip the rim. These things are for protecting your rims. You can hook the tire levers over your rims if you want to scratch them. Yeah, that's, that's better. That's better. There we go. One done. Okay. So now we're inching, now we're going to go bit by bit here. We don't do doing this in big chunks. I mean, let's be, let's be entirely truthful, having a hydraulic tyre machine would be a whole lot freaking easier. Yeah, okay. That didn't even want to go. So too much. Uh... Okay. I'll hold this down slipping. here. There we go. I'll hold this here at this end. Yeah. Well, maybe I'll just try to take a bit more. If you don't use the disc as a leverage, of course, nope. that is bad. Get on the... That thing's got a hook around the edge. Yeah. Just be careful of that disc. Yeah. They can take a little bit. There we go, slowly, 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 there we go. It's okay. Just a little bit, just a little bit more. A little bit more. There we go. Okay. It's not doing that rim protector much good. Yeah, actually, we might be able to get lucky here. We might. Yeah, why don't you mind? Oh. Just push a little bit. There we go, you'll be all tea. Yeah. <laughs> there we go, the protector protectors. out. <laughs> They're both out, there's only ones in there. Just ones in there. <coughs> there okay. Go. Now the easy bit. Pull that little protector out. Start up your air compressor. Job's on. Yeah. You don't need an air compressor. Okay. The inner of the valve is still out, so this allows enough air to flow in quickly because we've got to bead these two uh, sides. So put that in, watch it go round. There we go. There we go. It's Quick on. Gas. Grab the valve, grab your valve tool, put that straight in. So did you reinflate it twice? Now, just what check if it's on the valve, on the, on the bead properly, which it looks to be. Both sides look good. Okay. That so, actually went on quite easy. Yeah. So, once that's done, put that on. I know I need about 35, well, 33 PSI for tomorrow. One done. Final. So, rear one's next. While you're doing this, it's a great chance to you know take the carrier off, give it a good clean, make sure that all the chain gunk's not going all over your chain. Uh, also, while your wheels are off, have a good look at your brake pads. They've probably got at least another day in them, probably two, but 
I've replaced a couple on the other side already. I'll just replace them as they get used. Okay, rear tire. Rear tire, yeah. yeah. See how quickly I can do this. The clock's ticking, 10 seconds. <laughs> bonus points for lost skin on knuckles. And bonus points for swearing. Uh, not good at putting beeps into the video clips just yet, so. bit more effort with this, this is obviously a rear tire. No, I reckon rears are easier personally. Yeah. I almost find them a bit of a bastard to get on them, but that's just me. They've got a little bit more room to move because they're bigger and a bit more squishy. This, this tire has done about, what, 100 laps? 200 laps? Or at least. It's well, well for a better done. word, it's well and truly friggin' used. Yeah, the last so. video you could see it was gone. Oh, no, I'll keep going, clock's ticking. Minute 25. Two, one, two, let me go. Better not be oh, stuck crap. I reckon it's in the other room. No, it's not. It's not. <laughs> I, pulled it out. I know I pulled it out. Uh, that, would, that would be hilarious. I'm sorry. Uh, I'll, that's enough. It'd be hilarious for me. It'd be, yeah. You'd just send it at this point. Yeah, you just leave <laughs> it. <laughs> You don't want to have to do all this again. Again, watch out for the valve just here. Yeah. Just be um, yeah. yeah, it's not really on the rim, so. But these, these shouldn't be anywhere near it. One. I'll put my foot on this side for you. Oops. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Keep, keep that off the thing. Yeah, keep the foot. Makes it nice and easy. One, two, three. I hope that one actually goes on the top out. One, two. Two minutes thirty. Come on, come over. I've seen motocross guys do this, like in under ten, front tire, rear tire, tubes, rim locks, the works. So yeah. Down like that, there we go, and repeat the process on the bottom part of the tyre, around the side. Three minutes fifteen. I've done this a lot, man, a bit of yeah. a tight ass, but not only is it saving me money, I'll just get my son to do it and work on his tyre machine. Give you an idea of how much force I'm putting into the thing. Yeah, okay. Let's try this again. Up here come. Nope. It's because that thing, I think it's sitting on the yeah, wrong side. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. That's better. So when you look at the rim, look down the side of the rim. Look down here. You see the rim's got the narrow bit. You want the tire sitting in there when you try to fall, force off the other yeah. side. If it's sitting down here, it's going to pull too hard. Yeah. Give us that lever because you're getting another set of hands out, aren't you? Probably. So. You gotta hold that there. I've got it. Cool. Please take it in the right spot. Get it off. <laughs> oh, come on. Duh. Okay. Mm. Mm. 
No, I'm gonna have to hold it. This one's a good time. MS2, which is the medium. MS2, they do have a directional arrow on here somewhere. I don't think they do. Yeah, I'm sure they do. No, I don't think they do. They're, yeah. Well, they're, they're definitely... I don't think they do. I've not... I've never bothered to look for one. I'm not, I'm not on these tyres anyway. No, there's no, there's no directional arrow. No. There you go. It's just banging on. Green dot. Yeah, we know what that is. What's going on, Lenny? It's a hey, big bulls. Hey, party people. Not they interested? Yeah. Okay. First thing, bit of lube. Bit of rube. Is this the first time you've lubed up something in a while? <clears throat> you want to make sure your rubbers are lubed, mate. you got to lube the There's one over here. Yeah. yeah. Went flying over there. Okay. Right, yeah. That's the... Right, yeah. Six minutes and Remember what we said last time about keeping that yeah, bit in the middle? middle. Where's your dot for your valve? Uh, it's there, the but side. on the opposite side. I've right. got it in the right spot. You happy with that? Yeah, yeah. Sit down. Can you put your foot on that side of the tire? Because these tires are freaking tough. <clears throat> You're gonna get that. You keep going. You're gonna get that. You're right. Just give it a little bit of a, just yeah, a bit of a uh, sway. Yeah. No, no, that should go. Just give it a little bit more. I don't know. With the, with the okay. right hand. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Now the really hard bit. Out. I might point out, Asher, but being a race tyre, yeah. a lot of the time, a lot of people I know, and I'm probably guilty of it as well, I don't even bother with the high spot and low spot because a lot of the time the tyre will turn on the rim. Yeah, I anyway, know. That's, I use, well, that's, that's why I don't balance mine. Well, I, that's why I don't, <laughs> I don't use lube on the, on yeah. the tyre. I, I generally dry fit them. Yeah. With Dunlops, you have to. I've tried it enough times. They're just too hard. But, uh, okay, can you put your foot there? Okay, that one goes down. This one's on. Okay. Now, can you push down, make sure that that goes in and off the bead. Okay, what do you want to be? You want me to hold that trigger? No, just push. Like, this has got to go down off the bead. Oh, sorry, here, this part, yeah, of course, yeah. there we go, sorry. There we go. Speak English, mate, English. Yep. That's where three hands would be bloody useful. Be careful of the rim. Yep. There you go. This is why you need those rope bits on there. Yeah. Although the uh, new ones I've got are apparently part of the moulded plastic. Further across. You got it? Just be careful you don't want to damage the bead either. Yeah, I know. Okay. That's 
popped out. Let's take that out. How are you going to get that out? It does come out. There we go, it's back on. Back on. Lovely. So you just got to be careful that you don't damage the bead. Yeah, this bit here, that nice little seal, that's actually what that's holds what the seals, That's what seals it under the rim. Yeah, that's what gives you, hold, makes it hold pressure. And I've done it before, and what you feel when here is a tearing noise. Yeah. It doesn't feel pleasant it's not cool. All. There we go, nice and casual. There we go, there we go, nice, there we go. Just get that last bit over, and it's on. There we go. Great. That wasn't too bad at all. So 10 minutes 47. So we've changed two tyres with levers in about 20 minutes. Yeah. Give or take. Things only run at about 19 psi off the warmers as well, so yeah. that is the good thing about Dunlops is stiff carcass. The carcass is so stiff that it stays. The whole tire feels the same at the beginning of the tire as at the end of the tire. Meanwhile, I find with Pirellis, a lot of their stiffness is um, determined by the actual tread on the outside. So as your tread wears, your tire changes and by the end of the day, you can feel it really getting a bit squishy underneath you. So you might start off with 24 pound in the in the rear, and but you might end up with 25 or 26 at the end of the day when the tire is almost dead, just to give it some integrity back. But Dunlops doesn't matter; they're solid the whole time. Run them at 19, well I run them at 19, and they just work for me. So I've loved them for a long time. I'm still running them. does all this cost so the tire levers the bead breaker rim protectors usually you can find them for in a kit for around maybe 200 bucks maybe 250 at most um, I know Amazon's got levers and um, rim protectors for like you can get a whole kit for 30 bucks so you just need the bead breaker on top of that so yeah you can save a lot of money you can save a lot of time by getting all this stuff, not having to take your wheels down to the motorcycle store and not having to then go and pick them up again. So, I mean, that would have, my, my closest motorcycle store is what, 25 minutes away? So it's 50 minutes at a minimum just to go take them there and, uh, and then another 50 minutes to go pick them up. So this is why I've got all this stuff. Do it myself, it's quick and easy, comparatively speaking. And once you've got it, instead of spending $20, $30 per tire getting changed, uh, this obviously saves you a lot of money over the long term. Cool. It's all done. Easy. Time to pack it up, put it on the trailer and go to a track day. Give it, maybe give it a wash first because it's disgusting. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> I cleaned filthy. it last video. It's filthy. Look at it. Yeah. Oh, shit. True. It gets dusty out of Oh, well. Oh. Next one, track day tomorrow, so hopefully I can actually make another video. Yeah, we'll do, we'll do a video tomorrow. Be good.